Hello everybody, so I am very shocked to be filming this today, but I have another fandom, I mean, this is Lartbox, sorry, uh, absolutely, completely shocked. Um, I didn't get the notification this was shipping until today, and today is Saturday, April 27th? 23rd? Well, it's the last Saturday of April, tomorrow is the 30th, oh, so it's 29th today, so... Yes. I, I'm, I'm floored. I got the first one, I think, three weeks ago, and I was not expecting this one. It already arrived to me, so I'm very happy about that. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Um, right off the bat, um, paper. Packaging paper. Oh, okay. Lots of packaging paper. I guess he really didn't want this destroyed. So this month's theme, now I'm not too happy. Oh, wow. Um, this month's theme was... Postalapagopalyptical um, little LARPs. So, yeah. So, we have right on top, I can see the snack which he got us. This is zombie jerky. Very kind of cute kind of thing. I, I like this. This is cute. This will work kind of for LARPs, kind of. I think this is a little out of game for a LARP. I'd have to unpackage this to really use it for a game like, um, oh, tip of my tongue. But to use this for almost any game that's post-apocalyptic, most things would not be nicely packaged like that. So for a game like Dystopia Rising, this would not be what I, the container I'd keep it in, but this is very cute. And you can tell it is green. So I wonder what spice is on here to make it look green. Um, yeah, the jerky is green in color. It looks kind of gross, moldy. But that is really kind of cool. I like that. Um, and that is adorable. It is from Santa Monica, California, yet again. So very excited for that. Very, very excited. The next things that are in here, we'll move those up top. There is a catch that says Dystopia Rising. How funny is that? Um, this is actually probably going to be the first LARP I go to because I have the costume ready for it, which I made that forever ago because I was supposed to start going with friends, but life happened. I went to school and yeah, so that is kind of cool. Then I have a business card with a sticker, which for Lord knows what, she makes backpack, horse tails, mohawks, alternative fashion, and specialty costumes. I'm going to guess this goes with this. Well, nope. That's, this is Outmate, so I don't know who this goes to, but I don't know why this is in here. This might be the card for this. That's the only thing I could figure, is that she made the Dystopia Rising patches. So, yep. I hope I'm in... Yep, I am. Um, so, the next thing in here is a first aid medical kit, which says Emergency Costume Repair Kit. I have one of these, actually. I have one for the Fantasy LARP I want to do, which I've already sewn it and made it, and I'll can, I need to, to film an update for you guys, but I did not have one for... Postal apocalyptic. So I just accidentally pulled it off, but it was in a metal tin. I just pulled this off. Inside of it, there's a single needle with a little bit of thread, which, meh, this is nothing special. Um, but it's cute. I would have thought I could still get away with one of the little, I have a plastic one that I got from a hotel years ago that still has all the needles pretty threaded in different colors. But that works. A little bit of twine, super glue. Some little rubber bands, uh, duct tape, and a safety pin. Um, I guess for post-apocalyptic LARP, this all would make sense to have. So this is kind of cool. Um, I think this would be fine for post-apocalyptic. I love the tin, so I may just take some of the things out or keep this intact and see if I can find... Because this is kind of like a tackle, bait and tackle kind of tin for fishing, and we have a fishing supply place in town, so I can see if I can find a bigger version of this to actually make a real sewing kit to repair my costume if it breaks. So, yep. The next thing, so this, I've shown you guys and I've talked about it partially each time, but this is just a little hook with paracord on it. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Then, I don't know, oh, okay, so this is a flask wrapped in paper. That explains all the paper. Which says, Nuclear Snail Studios LARP Box Exclusive Edition. I love Nuclear Snail. I subscribe to him on YouTube. I follow him on every ounce of social media I possibly can. He does a LARP, I think it's in Germany. A post-apocalyptic LARP. This is absolutely amazing. I think this is adorable. I love this a lot. Um, 
So yeah, I don't know. Me and my brother split these boxes, so I don't know which who's going to get what. But so far, I probably know for a fact he's going to get the cord because, yes, I, I don't want it. I will probably take the sewing kit. I will probably give him the patch and the sticker. And I'll keep the snack, this, and the shirt, I suppose. Then there is this, which is the t-shirt. Which, that is what it looks like. It's a really cool zombie head. Really, really cool. Um, like that a lot. And then I get to go through this with my brother in just a minute, because I think he's just sitting there anxiously listening to me talk about this stuff. I may give him the shirt, actually, because this is more his kind of t-shirt than mine. And then the last thing in here is the scroll of knowledge, which will let me know what the epic art box people got, along with what I got. Which, everything looks correct in here. Then, oh, I wish I had gotten the legendary box. Oh, well. I'm going to probably subscribe to one month of the legendary box, because it is really worth it. So, yeah. That was everything that was in the box. Um, there was an extra rubber band that's lime green floating in the bottom of my box, but that's neither here nor there. This month's box, I find it last month's was absolutely amazing. You got a lot of very, very useful things. For this one, I mean, you got a lot more decorative items for your LARP character. The only useful thing really is the flask and the sewing kit. Otherwise, it's things to embellish your character's costume or it's practical IRL things. I mean, the food snack thing I'm happy about because now I, I have to try to figure it out. Maybe it's wasa wasabi powder that they put all over everything to make it look like it's going bad meat. But I'm going to have to do that if I buy beef jerky again. So yeah, if you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. Give me a thumbs up. I'll have a link to LARP box down in the description. And let me know what if you guys are going to subscribe. I really am loving this service and I'm definitely going to continue it. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys you later. like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!